right, so now we're going to move on to step two of our 3D printer calibration using the Teaching Tech guided website. So this is the PID Autotune. PID is Proportional Integral Derivative. I know we're not doing calculus here. All that really means is it's how accurately your 3D printer will get the bed plate as well as the extruder up to temperature and how accurately it can hold it there. So we're going to use Pronterface. I've got a guide that will show you how to install Pronterface and make sure that you get your 3D printer connected. And we're going to have to use G-Code on the MDI, which is the Machine Display Interface. And we're going to enter in some G-Code. The nice thing is, it's really easy to do the PID Auto-Tune. The machine does everything. All you have to do is just run M303 and then go ahead and just save it. Uh, for the extruder as well as for the build plate. So let's go ahead and hop over to the 3D printer and get connected to Pronterface. So now we're in Pronterface and what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to connect our 3D printer. So go ahead and check what COM port your 3D printer is on. If you don't know how to do that, really quickly, Device Manager. And we come down here to ports, and mine is USB serial CH340 on COM9. Set your baud rate to 115,200. Make sure your 3D printer is plugged in with your USB cord. Hit connect. We're now online. And so it's really simple to do a PID auto tune. And the easiest way is just copy and paste this first line of code this M303 command and you're just going to paste it into this MDI and hit send and it's going to start and this is going to take a little bit and that's okay just be patient you may think it's not doing anything but it's going to go ahead and it's going to actually raise the extruder temperature to 200 degrees and so we're just going to wait And we'll catch back up here in a second. So now our extruder is getting really close to 200 degrees. We've got this little screen here. We can see it. I'm blow it up bigger. It's being strange. Go ahead and exit out of it. Make it full screen here. So we're at 200 degrees, and you can see what it does for the PID Auto Tune is it'll ramp over 200 degrees, and then back under. So I'll explain a little bit about what PID is. Proportional Integral Derivative. And essentially what it means is if you shoot up higher than what your set temperature is, you will get there faster. But then you have to come back down. So if you just had the P or the I or the D or a combination of two of the three, you wouldn't be able to either get to your set temperature as quickly as you do or hold it as accurately as you do. And so I'm not going to really go into the calculus here, but just be thankful that there's an M303 command that will do this automatically. So we can see we're starting to get some numbers from our PID auto tune. And so we're just going to wait here for a little bit longer. It seems like it takes a while. So now our PID Auto-Tune is finished. So it spits out this line, PID Auto-Tune finished, and it gives you a KP value, a KI value, and a KD file. So this is the K value for the portional part of the PID, the K value for the integral, and the K value for the derivative. Mine is 31.72, 3.19, 78.81. Now, yours may be slightly different. That's okay. Each printer is a little bit different. Now. This doesn't mean anything, though, if you don't save it to your EEPROM. Now, on an Ender 3 V2, your EEPROM is on your SD card. Some 3D printers, the EEPROM is located on the motherboard. Ender 3 V2, it's not. So you need to make sure that you save all of these settings to the same SD card and you print with this SD card plugged into your printer. So I'm going to type in M500. And it sends it. It doesn't tell you that it's saved. Okay, but you see, you could have just copy and pasted this. 
I just typed it in. So now our hot end is tuned. We need to tune our build plate. So let's copy and paste this MO3 303 command. Okay, and so we're going to set our build plate to 60 and we're going to auto tune. So it's the same thing. It's going to set the temperature of the build plate to 60 degrees. It's going to take a little bit to get up there. So what we're going to do is we're just going to pause and come back whenever the PID auto tune is complete for the build plate and we'll take a look at those values. So now our PID auto tune is complete for our bed and so we can see PID auto tune finished. That's the line of code that you're looking for. So our KP proportional is 137.81, KI is 25.29, KD is 500.72. Now, once again, we need to put in an M500. This saves it to the EE prompt. It's like the memory of how the 3D printer knows to use these values whenever it is 3D printing. So with that said, you're done. Your hot end is now auto-tuned. Your build plate is now auto-tuned. Good job.